The CCSA this morning Friday reported over 3,600 new COVID cases, which we expect to be from testing done between one and two days ago, along with 44 new deaths associated with the virus. No decision has been made on proposals made by one of Thailand's senior experts on respiratory diseases for a one-week lockdown on the whole of the capital, with the CCSA citing worries over the economic impact. This this after the chief of one of the faculties at the Siriraj Hospital stated that a lockdown at Bangkok is the best answer to the current situation, calling it desperate. The reopening of schools in most provinces this month has seen many close, some within days, after either children or family members tested positive for COVID. Teachers were promised vaccinations nationally ahead of the reopening, but for the children the issue is greater, as in addition to catching it, they can take it home to their families. So far, no programme is in place for child inoculation. In many cases, those infected have been visited by family from the capital, and that's in a lot of areas making non-locals unwelcome in a bid to keep their homesteads safe. In Ranong region, a former weapons specialist in the army, who was dismissed from the service three years ago, has surrendered to authorities after going on a shooting rampage, killing first a convenience store employee before heading to a centre used for COVID-19 patients, where he randomly killed a 54-year-old and fired at numerous others. Demonstrations yesterday at the Democracy Monument in the capital were poorly attended, despite promises of large crowds by organisers, who used the celebration of democracy here, which occurred in 1932, as a tool to voice dissent. Only a few gathered, and it was all over by mid-morning. Working for a mobile phone supplier, two ex-employees helped themselves to prepaid calling cards worth an estimated 200 million baht. That was during their employment. They were selling them on at huge discount to retailers to support a lifestyle that added Mercedes-Benz cars to their driveways, along with expensive watches, millions in their bank accounts and investments. Both were nabbed yesterday by police. Reports indicate that together they held supervisory positions and had worked for the company for 20 years before leaving, presumably as they didn't need to work anymore. Meanwhile at home, and yesterday, the Chonburi Department of Public Health announced 254 new and confirmed cases of COVID, along with two deaths. Clusters in Satterheap and Chonburi City are the greatest concern, and in Satterheap, where a large market has been closed down, those who work there have been warned that avoiding testing could result in them being banned from the market losing their employment or stalls, and for non-ties, the loss of work permits has also been inferred to. This is sat a heap is serious about working to cleanse and reopen the area and protect its residents. Patia's mayor has toiled with his team to get more vaccines for the city and has managed to secure an allocation of 100,000 doses of the newly arrived Sinopharm vaccine. That's enough for around 50,000 locals. A move in the right direction, though, as he's consistently voiced protest at vaccines previously intended for the region being rerouted to other areas. In Pattaya, 29 former bar girls and a foreign ex-bar manager were arrested after authorities followed some from Soy 6 to a private rented property where they streamed online chat, fully clad on the internet in the hope of tips from the sad and lonely overseas. Following clampdowns on the use of licensed premises for the same business, some operators moved to private dwellings, with the condition that only perhaps three or four worked in the same room, avoiding social contact. That didn't placate the authorities who arrested all, and then herded them all into a police cell together, keeping them there overnight while fines were processed. This is perhaps the third raid in the past week on similar operations. Live streaming on platforms like YouTube have provided a limited but welcome income to hundreds of otherwise unemployed ex-bar staff in the region. But we're told this is the final straw for operators who, one after another, are closing down their streaming. So for hundreds here, it's home time as most left the police station with plans to bus back to their families in the northeast. For the sad and lonely and desperate online viewers, we can only advise that if they feel affected mentally in any way by their loss, the Samaritans work in most countries. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 33, dropping down to 29, a good day, but with the chance of rain at some time. 
Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.